and French inflation quickened to the fastest since the euro was introduced, raising pressure on the European Central Bank to do more to contain the shock for firms and households. Now, the key focus for the ECB president, Christine Lagarde, will be on the reading for the entire 19-member eurozone due tomorrow. Well, joining us now is Bloomberg's Western Europe economy team leader, Zoe Schneeweiss. Zoe, great, great to speak to you. Now, French inflation just hit a euro era high in June. Will this lead to a lot more pressure on the ECB to act firmly? Yes, as you said, it just hit 6.5%. That's primarily due to energy and food. Um, now, what is the, the thing that we need to keep in mind here, compared to the other euro area countries, France really is doing incredibly well on inflation. They're best in class here. And that's because the French government has been so generous and has given, uh, spent so much money, spent billions and billions of euros to keep this down. The French um, stats office says that inflation would be 1.5% points higher if it weren't for these measures and that really means that 6.5 while obviously painful can't compare with the others now with looking at the broader euro area the ECB is under pressure to do something they've announced that they're going to start hiking rates for the first time in more than a decade next month 25 basis points is the base case here however Earlier this week, several policymakers told my colleagues in Sintra that a 50 basis point hike could be on the table and look should be something at least should be considered. And given these numbers, and Spain yesterday at 10% really was a shocker, it is something that we expect to keep, at least to be there to be talk about this in the weeks going up to the rate decision.